Hello everyone, today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to add basic AI with uh, flowchart customizations. So what is AI? Artificial intelligence is a variety of techniques that are used by video game developers in order to create the illusion of intelligence of the behavior of that of a non-player character, which are also known as NPCs in video games. Okay, so let's get started. Today I'm going to use this map that I have crea created to create a basic AI. To do this, we will need to make sure that these two buttons are pressed in order for the AI character to be placed all on top of our terrain. Next thing we will need to do is to click on Entity and then open the AI folder and select Grunt. We can drag and drop Grunt on our terrain and you can see he's on top of our terrain. And now when we press Escape and jump into the game, the AI character will be started to shoot at us and uh, wanted to kill us. This is because this is because of the the default settings that the Cry Engine software has provided for the AI character. We can change these properties by clicking on the AI character and just changing the properties around here. We can, for example take always equipment such as weapons and uh, fists like so and press ok we can also change the bullets the amount of bullets he has but this uh, will not work if uh, he hasn't got any guns on him also we can uh, make him act as a civilian instead of a, a angry person also we can change our stuff but this can be uh, depending on uh, the amount of requirements that your game has so if we jump into the game now he'll be just standing there not doing no nothing because he won't be interested in us because he's acting as a civilian also he has no weapons that he can attack us the next thing that we will need to do is uh, provide the AI character with movements we can do this in uh, numerous ways but for this tutorial today I'm going to demonstrate tag points to do tag points we will need to move a character here and then uh, make sure that these two bars are pressed and then we need to press AI and tag point a tag point is a path is an AI character pathway this is a very simple and basic path I find personally I think this is very easy to use because uh, the AI character will find their own way to that point instead of uh, me giving a direct path for them to follow so if we jump into the game right now the AI character will not move because we will need to create something called a flow graph this flow graph will will be linked to the AI character with the tag point to do this we will need to click on the tag point and where it says under graph we will need to click create then we will need to create a new flow graph I'll call it AI Grant 7. No, 7. Press OK. And now we can see this window where we have to create our flow graph. Firstly, we will need to add three notes. The first one is Add Start Note. Right click and press Add Start Note. Then, right click again, Add Note, AI, AI Go To. The last node that we have to add is press right click, add node, entity, and tag point. Like so. We have a uh, tag point selected, so under entity tag point, choose entity, right click, assign selected entity, like so, and the uh, cry engine assigns the selected entity. For the AI go to, we will need to select the AI character. like so and then do the same thing for the AI go to choose entity right click assign selected entity but now we all we have to do is uh, link the notes like using the mouse click on output and drag it to sync on the AI go to the next link we have to do is click pause and then drag it to the pause on the AI go to and this is a very simple connection between an AI and our tag point. Next thing we need to do is save 
the flow graph in order for the AI to be able to move to that point and uh, close it down. So now if we jump into the game you can see the AI will begin moving to that point they will be finding their own way to that particular point of the map like so we can always move this tag point to any direction we want like if we move it up here but we need to make sure that this yellow arrow is pointing the way that we want the AI to move to like so press escape and now when we jump into the game you can see the AI will be moving to that point and they will be finding their own way to that point we can place the attack point anywhere in the map but this uh, all depends on your game requirements thanks for watching and uh, see you next time